fuck it is, man. It's pale bother me in this bitch. You heard? You mad enough? Real quick, bro. Real quick, and please, once again, bro. Please excuse my voice. I'm hoarse as a motherfucker right now. I'm trying to get my words out as clear as possible. So please bear with me. This, this might be the last video I do today. I don't, I don't know, man. Shit, but nevertheless, yo, let's talk about Yoshi G real quick, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. I'm gonna fucking break my neck. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, bro. I don't think Yoshi G gonna survive in battle rap, female battle rap, battle rap in general. Like, I don't think, I don't think Yoshi G gonna survive in battle rap. I'm going to tell you why. Like, Shorty is too emotional. Yo, this girl is extremely emotional. For real. Like, man, she, don't, she don't know how to control her emotions, bro. She have zero self-control. Zero self-control. This is why you see her go on these epic rants. Right? She get on camera crying. Right? Exposing her personal life. Like, starting beef with people because of something they might have possibly said over the internet. Not, like, not not having the capabilities of separating battle rap from real life. It's like, bro, she is emotional as fuck. Like, because I'm, I'm listening to this space, right? And her and Averb is like, they like, I guess they trying to, like, hash out their differences. Like, they trying to talk it out. Because, you know, Averb felt a certain type of way towards Yoshi. Cause he felt like she betrayed him. You feel me? She felt he felt like she switched sides on him. So they talking it out or whatever. And I guess Miss Hustle is in this space. And she keep hitting the laughing, like the laughing emoji. Like she keep reacting. And you keep seeing this laughing emoji pop up. And this bitch just had like a loud outburst, like, Miss Hustle, what are you laughing for? This isn't funny. This this is real life. Y'all might know how to maneuver in, in this world. But I don't. I'm like, one, shorty, you too old. You how many kids you got? And you still haven't figured this world out? You don't know how to navigate in this world? What the fuck is wrong with you? And you a single mother? You a single parent? It's no hope for you, like, whatsoever. But I'm like, shorty, like, bro, she can laugh if she want. It's funny to her. She don't fuck with you. She don't owe you any kind of respect. She don't know you. Let alone fuck with you, like I said. So what do you expect from her? I expect her to laugh. And I'm not even Yoshi G. I'm a fan. I'm a consumer. And I expect her to make a mockery of you. They don't fuck with you, Yoshi. They don't like you. Okay? They don't like you. In their eyes, you make women look bad. Because uh, because you pedestalize this 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 dot shit, right? Because you celebrate being a dot. Because you're cool with that, so they don't so they don't respect you. They don't like you. So what the fuck do you expect from Miss Hustle? Of course she's gonna laugh. Like it's a humiliating moment. In her eyes, you're being humiliated. You're being controlled by Bird. He's further brainwashing you, and you the dummy to run back to him. So like. Of course she would laugh, but then and then on the other hand, I'm like, shorty, I'm, <laughs> like I, I respect your courage, but you you yelling at the wrong person because she snapped on, she snapped on Miss Hustle. She was like, like she like like she damn near like was like exchanging fighting words. Like she had that energy. Like like fuck is you laughing for, bitch? Like type like I punch you in your shit type shit. Like and I'm like, shorty, I respect your courage for basing your voice and standing up against Miss Hustle, but she she might fuck you up. <laughs> like, you feel me? But that's, but that's what it is when you're emotional. You're absent of logic. You're not you're not being rational. I'm not saying be a bitch and just let Miss Hustle play with you if you feel offended, but I'm saying she will give you the beats. <laughs> she will beat the shit out you, like literally beat the shit out you. So you might, that might be a tree you might not want to buck up. But like I said, I, I, I respect your courage. Like, don't let nobody play with you. But you got to relax, sweetheart. Okay? You you are way too emotional. You feel me? Everything shouldn't bother you like that. Because you know what that means? When people 
are able to push your buttons that way, when people are able to control your emotions by whatever it is that they may say or do, you then give them power over you. You give them power over you because all they got, because they know all they got to do is make fun of you and you're going to jump out there. All they got to do is laugh at you. You feel me? And, and you're going to feel a certain type of way. Like, like they control you. You're like, like, like you're a puppet to them now. You feel me? So, and then you be letting these fans dictate your thoughts. Like, for real, like, you be letting these fans dictate your thoughts. Stop what you're doing. Respectfully, stop what you're doing. You are a grown woman. Okay? It's, it's, listen, as humans, we're going to be influenced by people. Like, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm not an unrealistic person. So, some stuff that people say, you feel me, or people may give us advice or whatever the case may be, it, sometimes it may be beneficial for us to be attentive and listen to. But if it's like, if like you just listening to every fucking word a person saying, if people are able to sway your mind that easily, then it's like you don't got a mind of your own. At that point, like you're just a puppet. You're just, you're just a puppet. Like the fans can say whatever, they can create whatever narrative, and you're gonna run with it. Like you, you gotta understand. <laughs> You feel me? You're the vehicle. You're giving life to what they say. You, because if you just ignore it, or you like do you do your own analysis and come to the conclusion that it ain't what they're trying to make it out to be, then it has no power. It's left there. You feel me? Then they have to move on to the next person to see who else gonna, you know, bite the bait. You feel me? Like who else gonna attach themselves to whatever narrative they're trying to create or whatever shit they're trying to stir up? You feel me? Stop being so emotional. This is battle rap. I'm not going to say it's an emotionalist sport, but the more emotional you are, the more weak you become. I'm going to say that one more time. This is battle rap. The more emotional you are, the more weak you become. You understand? This isn't YouTube makeup tutorials. Like you're not in a tutorial community. Okay, this is this isn't ballerina. You feel me? Like, like, like this isn't like fucking cosmetics. This is battle rap. This is battle rap. If you're gonna be in battle rap, you need to have self-control and you need to stop wearing your heart on your sleeve. You letting everybody see your hand. You ever played spades before? You don't let a motherfucker see your hand. You letting everybody see your hand because you react, you react, you react, you react, you get mad, you get mad, you cry, you get emotional, like, over every little thing. Like, we know you're a woman, we know you're emotional, you understand? But you got to be incognito with it, or these females will use that shit against you, I promise you, bro. They will use it against you, and that's exactly what niggas do. It's exactly what niggas do. You feel me? They will use that shit against you. They know how to fuck with you. They know how to, like, get in your head. And that's what they do. The fans battle. They, they know. They know. Hey, right, you feel me? I know you take pride in being an open book, but, baby, girl, stop what you doing. And I'm being nice. You're mad enough.